Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company, Tech Tuesday, week number 10. This is going to be a partial recycled video. We just got back from Cedia. So what I'm going to do is kind of zip right through the unboxing of the Legrand OnQ panel. This is also a panel made by Sanus. They're all the same conglomerate. And what I'm going to do here is just skip through this. You guys don't need to see me unbox it. And then I'll jump into actually installing this, give you some tech tips, and we'll go from there. Thanks a lot. All right, so let's dive into this one. Um, I'm just going to assume that you're, uh, you are you got a blank wall, maybe a mantle or a fireplace, and you got an outlet above it. Uh, you maybe even have a you know conduit or something like that. If you, if you have a large enough conduit, you're probably going to put the one connect cable down and put your one connect behind the uh, armoire or cabinet. In this situation, you know we need to have 14 and a half inches, and we're going to uh, put the uh, Samsung one connect box from Legrand. We're actually going to install that in the wall. And so what I'm doing here is I'm marking out all four corners of where the uh, one connect box is going to go in kind of unboxing the uh, unit itself and again i'm just kind of narrating this through uh, the video content i did this a while ago when i was working with some customers on a large project where we did a bunch of uh, frame tvs so overall you know this will be more of a homeowner video so kind of layman terms for a normal installer but we're going to uh, level it all out we've marked our height with the blue tape kind of pencil around it and we went right over the top of that outlet because keep in mind you're going to have an existing outlet there if not you're going to need to do a power bridge and i'll do a video on a power bridge shortly and so i'm not going to narrate each portion you can see me doing the work um, i will keep the video to its original length though and so what i did there if you can see is i actually took the drywall saw and i cut into each portion of it so that you would have a mark to each stud that give you your outline of 14 and a half inches and then i double traced it in so that I don't have to worry about you know making a mistake and cutting into a stud where you can't get that box in. Um, also a good test, a lot easier to patch a couple small little um, openings like that if you can't get the box in other than cutting the whole hole in and finding out you have to move a stud, which isn't very easy. And so what I'm doing here is I actually had one of the power kits in place on our demo wall and I removed that and I'm cutting out the opening here. So it's 14 and a half inches by uh, 17 inches wise it's got a pretty good bezel so it's wise to cut that a little larger uh, but not not dramatically of course and as you can see i'm using our bag trick so i got plastic bag below it keeping everything clean and so what i don't know if i'm showing this on there but what i'm actually doing is the boxes have a knockout for a standard j box opening so i'm taking my saw and my knife and i'm actually trimming that out and again, we're using a Midlight Power Kit, which is a UL listed device with a molded plug on it. So we're able to just use a standard Arlington cut-in ring. Um, in your case, depending on what scenario, if you've got a Romex lead there, you're going to need to do a cut-in box, disconnect the breaker, and actually do a solid box on the bottom. You can't have an open electrical connection on the bottom of that unless you're using a specific item. And then you see us installing the enclosure. Got the power hanging out. And again, I've got a couple videos on the Midlight Power Kit, which is a super nice device if you decide you don't want to get into the crazy electrical portion of these. And then here I'm actually mounting the uh, electrical enclosure in the bottom knockout. The uh, box has a bunch of different holes, inch and a quarter, inch and a half holes if you want to run conduit, if you want to run your wires into it, your cable TV into it. Um, and then it's also, again, it's got the knockout if you want to put one side power and you want to do another side, if maybe you want to do... Uh, a standard outlet with cat six and a uh, coax in there and have it a finished product for a new construction home maybe their customer is not going to buy a frame tv and then lastly i'm test fitting the bezel making sure that's going to go on and again so you can see is if you cut that a little bit large you can easily get that bezel to cover up any extra drywall damage or if you're doing an older home you might cut in there with the keyhole saw and chip a little paint that's usually going to cover up any issues with that Tool-wise, most of this is literally just a uh, stud finder, keyhole saw, Phillips head screwdriver. If you get into the power, you need to have a way to you know, test the circuit for power, make sure you know where the breaker's at. Um, J-Box, which is not included, and then the uh, Legrand box. So super, super easy. And then they make two versions of this. So you can see I'm actually putting an extra plate on there. So that plate can be for a network switch, a few devices like that. I find they're a little bit hard to put in once you do the larger 17-inch uh, Samsung box those don't work quite well so we usually don't use those we actually buy a panel that doesn't have those included because we save a little bit of money 
then I'm snapping the covers on. So you can do the wires out of the top or bottom. So again, that's a nice feature for the Samsung frame. And again, you don't need to use these just for a Samsung frame. These can be done for most any TV if you got the correct mount. Maybe you have a slimline mount that just mounts above it. You can just hang your TV and you got the whole access panel below it. Okay, as you can see, we're wrapped up with this project. Thanks again for watching. Comment below if you want any tech tips on any audio, video, automation, uh, parts, or accessories. Happy to make some videos. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.